Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to laugh? Oh, come on, they can hear you back there. Are you ready to laugh? Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the comedy film... Comedy Nerd Podcast! Some guy's ID. That's yeah, awesome. He's a, permanent a permanent resident. Wow. All right. Bust out your green cards, guys. Uh, actually, we're going to test your citizenship. Welcome wow. to the comedy nerd something film, with the guys. Podcast, podcast with the something. Thing. There's comedy and nerds in the thing with the podcast. It would have been better if he started off by saying, "Well, we're normally closed Sunday." <laughs> But these assholes showed up, yeah. so here they are. I had plans, but now I'm here. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out on a Sunday night. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> a couple of you have Podfest shirts. That's yeah. so awesome. We even saw an Earbuds shirt already. We, yeah. We've just barely started selling those. Earbuds. Um, I don't know why I did it that way. Yeah, That's my that choice. Really, That's my choice. Yeah, a little creepy. Uh <laughs> I totally brought the energy down. <laughs> I fucking killed it. <laughs> Boo, Graham. Burr. So, anybody got a terminal illness? Anybody out there? Another sold-out show in Portland. This is great. Yeah, let's keep bringing up the permanent resident thing. Let's That's keep that uh, cool. All right. That's the weirdest screensaver you could ever have. Do you yeah. realize that? Just somebody, some other dude's green card? Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you need to get out of the country, you sell those? Stealmyidentity.com. Is that okay. the screensaver? But There's we, our tech guy, CIA <laughs> representative, ladies and gentlemen. He can get you a fake passport. He knows where some safe houses are. Guys, we have an amazing <laughs> show for you guys. I, I can't even tell you how much we're going to do tonight. We're going to be watching movie trailers. We've got great guests. We want to uh, thank uh, Yes on Prop 90 and yes. Open Primaries for Open sponsoring the show. OpenPrimaries.org, sponsoring yes. the show. We're going to have free signed posters for you guys. Let's just show them the signed posters. Yeah, we got this poster. We got a bunch of these yeah, after the we'll show. We'll have them after the show for you guys, too. This was designed. Yeah, check that out. Um, a fan of ours, uh, Paige Branson, who's an awesome comic book artist, she designed this for us. She also designed the Earbuds logo that's on the T-shirts that we'll have, too. Uh, she's amazing. She's been listening to the show for several years and um, sent, when we were talking about a year ago, like Bloodbath Island, Sent this awesome. She created a one sheet for it. Yeah, she says a postcard that says "Greetings from Bloodbath Island," and it's just me like cutting off Michael Bay's head. Um, <laughs> the first artwork she did was when you and I were fighting about Tree of Life. Oh right. Yeah, right. and it was me cutting it down with a katana, the Tree right, of Life. Right. <laughs> as well, then you she should. threw me as a hobbit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a dream come true for it was. you. It was pretty cool. Because you're yeah. sick of this life, right? Yeah. You want to live I just want to go back to the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but Jackie Cation backstage surely does. Yeah. Um, she's... Yeah. We picked... I picked these two up at the airport, her and Jackie, and all they did was talk about comic books for 20 yeah, minutes. We did. That's all they did. That's it nice. was the greatest thing. Have you guys thing. read Trees yet? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, no, it's just Jackie saying, no. and I. No, Chris, no, they haven't. Just Jackie and I. That's it. <laughs> you guys uh, are <laughs> trees yet? Nothing. Yeah. That was awesome. Hawkeye, my life is a weapon. Anybody read that yet? All right. All right. See, there, there you we go. go. Two people. Smoke out okay. one nerd. The guy sitting alone. <laughs> uh, oh, it wasn't me. Oh, it was the guy with the earbud shirt. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks, bro. And we're going to show the earbuds trailer tonight. Yes. <laughs> Definitely get to see the Earbuds trailer, which we're very excited about. Chances are most of you here are uh, producers on the Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> yes, <I'm guessing. laughs> most of you so. <laughs> own part of that film. So, yeah. so uh, we hope you investors will be happy so <laughs> yeah, far. This is, a, this is your progress report. This is a crew screening. <laughs> yeah, the greatest thing about Kickstarter was uh, 1,600 people emailing us notes. Um, yeah. uh, are you going to put this in the movie? Yeah. Uh, you should do, do the new Hawkeye episode in there. <laughs> One nerd guy. Yeah. Um, well, should we, uh, we, should we show, we, we should, we got to talk about the let's just, let's talk about, shot for the sponsor. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so, uh, yeah, openprimaries.org contacted us. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, 
California was like this, Oregon is like this, where if you are an independent, you cannot vote in the primaries. So ballot measure 90 is to open that up for people. And we've had some people uh, down with it. My, our, our friend uh, J.B. Updike put this all together. I've known him for a long time. And we shot uh, the commercial for it, the Yes on Prop 90. We shot a 30-second commercial that has been airing uh, on local yeah. TV. Maybe you've seen and it. And California has open primaries. and you know, We had the same ballot. California yeah. and Washington had a similar ballot measure several that years ago. That state hasn't been, it hasn't imploded yet. <laughs> yeah, no, it will, well, but no, for no, other reasons. Not because of that, yeah. <laughs> It'll be, be other reasons. an earthquake and a zombie yeah. apocalypse. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a cool thing. And some people, even somebody emailed me on Twitter, and they're like, you know, I'm not down with Prop 90. I think you guys just show is great. And uh, here's one of the things to think about. And this is, uh, again, we don't pick any sponsors for the show that we are not down with. So, like, if the Republicans came to us, I'd be like, suck a dick. Um, we're not making a commercial for you. But weirdo independence, you got it. Um, so uh, one of the things people are emailed to me goes, well, if you – if you do open up the primaries, then you are locking out third parties. And an example of why that is not true, in the state of Washington, there are six libertarians who have made it to the final two from the primaries. Yeah, but that was on Survivor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, however you get elected, I don't give a shit. Just stay on the island. Yeah, they, they won an immunity challenge. Big deal. <laughs> A bunch yeah. of libertarians going, I'm not going to tax yeah. this rat. And then they cut the head off and ate it. So it was really exciting. <laughs> they never tax rats. Because that's the only place libertarians can survive is on an island alone. <laughs> uh. Creating their own laws. Yeah. No taxes for anything. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're having a cage fight in Washington next week with the libertarians' yeah. death match. No, but that's an example, you guys, um, to – to uh, of what this is about, so uh, we're obviously very much down with uh, so this. We're, so we're going to show you the 60-second um, version of the ad that we weren't allowed to show. Yeah, we 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 shot. They said we need a 30-second version that's very straightforward that gets yeah. all the points across. We're okay, and they're like, and why don't you cut together? Why don't you shoot and cut together a 60-second version that's a little more joke-heavy, and maybe we'll you know we'll probably put this on the internet or whatever. And our friend JB. Showed, loved the 60, this is awesome, but then he went, okay, my bosses won't let me put this on the air, and this is the tamest version. Um, so here it is right now, the Yes on 90 60 second version. Okay, here we go, we'll sit here. This is our table, I'm glad they reserved oh, it. Oh, thank God. That's perfect no sound. <laughs> I'm an independent too, one of 650,000 independent voters in Oregon. Independents like us, who are 31% of all voters, are locked out of voting in the primaries. If you vote yes for ballot measure 90, you're opening up the process and allowing everyone to vote in primaries, even if they aren't part of a party. If you vote yes, imagine who you're letting vote. The cute girl at Starbucks. The cute guy at Starbucks. You can have brisket or tuna, you're like, but you have all these other options. And they're like, yeah, but eight other guys voted, and you can only have those two. The bus driver from Speed. Do you want other people deciding if you get the tuna salad or the brisket? What if the brisket's dry that day? A lot of times, brisket's dry. I'm an independent voter. Nobody owns my vote. What if I want a nice quinoa salad with some roasted vegetables? I'm voting yes on 90. I'm voting yes on 90. I'm voting yes on 90. Join us and use your vote to give everyone the right to vote. So yeah, that's the that's yeah. the commercial. That's the, that's the longer version. There's a there's a version. Well, we had to cut out where uh, uh, Andy Wood is in there, who's the nice, good-looking gentleman with the beard. He helps run the Bridgetown Festival. Um, yeah, give it up for Bridgetown. Come on. Right. And the guy with the red beard, Brian, uh, he went on this whole riff about imagine the brisket's dry, and then you got to watch a bunch of old dudes choosing your food. Isn't it weird? How old dudes eat their stupid food in their dumb mouths. <laughs> And we sent that to the open primaries people. Yeah. Just in there, he was like, "You know, we can't put that yeah. in a commercial." I'm there's, like, "Yeah, but old people's mouths are stupid. Don't yeah, we want to?" There was some great stuff in there too. There was one. Well, there was another joke they talked about. It's crazy, you know. All these people can't vote in the primary. That's like having a bunch of people listen to a new U2 album. <laughs> Forcing, yeah, this kid, yeah. the kid with the glasses went on this rant about putting you, you two in the new iPhones and how mad that made him. We just like, go for it. Who else was he making fun of? He was making fun of Starbucks and then he went after. Oh, who else can't vote? All of Medea's characters. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I went on this thing about Medea. Yeah. 
And JB was like, I'm not fucking dealing with Medea's attorney, yeah, all right? Fair, I'm not yeah. Tyler Perry's legal department. I don't want to deal with that. So that spot no one has ever seen except you guys and a focus group that didn't like it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Which sorry. looks remarkably similar. <laughs> <laughs> you guys focus group, we're big dry brisket fans. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Um, so, all right, well, why don't we, uh, let's, let's, bring, introduce let's bring out guest. our guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, both of these people have been on Are we going to introduce them at the same time? Or are we going to introduce them one at a time? Well, whatever you want to do, Johnny, <laughs> fucking slow it down. Whatever. I was ramping into a big intro on your life. All right, the reason I say it is because I just had a conversation with our first guest, and I said we're going to bring him out separately. And I know our first guest, if we change it up, he gets... Oh, he'll on. lose he his up. shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason. You can't throw him a curve. Or we'll, lo or we'll lose the next 45 minutes. <laughs> Whatever guest might you be talking about, Chris. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the host of the Never Not Funny podcast, Jimmy Pardo. Yay! <laughs> He's going to be doing a little electrical work later on, guys. Some lucky fan's going to win an extension cord, guys. We're extending the primaries. I don't know what this is supposed to signify. Um, this is a rally for uh, Union 90, right? <laughs> union 90 is a local electrician's union. And we're here. These guys are having a tough year, ladies and gentlemen. If we can get behind 90 and really just plug into what's happening here in Portland. I may have misunderstood what the premise was behind tonight. <laughs> I thought this was no on 89. I was on board with that. It's yes on 90. I'm the wrong fucking guy to be here. <laughs> I say close up the primaries. Too many people are involved. <laughs> Jimmy Pardo, ladies and gentlemen, from Never Not Funny, everybody. <laughs> at Jimmy Pardo at Twitter, guys. I wish I had. I'm getting. I, full disclosure, I'm getting paid to be here. If I, what? if I wasn't, I would have committed to just walking off. God, I mean, been, how fucking great would that have been? That would have been great. And then right? you come, and then you come back like an hour later. No. Right? No. no. Oh, you're back in the hotel. Oh, I'm gone jerking off an hour later. <laughs> you kidding me? You would have been on the flight. You would have been back. Oh, you know, like, if all goes well, yeah. yes, indeed. Chris. Shooters on that red eye. Uh, yeah, that guy, that fellow over there on the Fox late night. You ever, you ever go on that show, that red eye program? That no, it looks do? horrible. I love it. <laughs> they got a good sense of humor. I believe in all their ideas. They seem like sharp guys. Yes, a couple of sharp guys. Yeah. But as an electrician. Well, listen, again, Union 90 is having a tough year. You know that. Union 90. They are fighting. Union uh, District 90 is fighting with Union District 74. And these 74, they're, they're just assholes. Is this like a rec league softball tournament? Is that yeah. what this is? Is yes. that like an electrician Hunger Games? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Great. I yes, I and works. Can I, can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? I don't know. I, I know they don't stop making Hunter Game movies. I know that. I know those movies keep coming out. I don't know anything about them. I know that girl's very beautiful. I've seen her pictures on the internet. I think those are great. <laughs> I've not seen the Hunger Games. I don't, I'm not 14. I'm, I don't, I'm a shit on them. I just, I don't know what they're about. I don't get them. Look how high my shoulders are to prove it. <laughs> All right. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Look at I go Ed Sullivan. You know I'm yeah. telling the truth. Put him down, jerk. All right. I drink down. cold water. My tongue is now frozen. Can I get her? I, I don't want to sound like a dick. Is there a room temperature water that I can get? Oh, Jesus. Do you guys have a thermometer in the back? Do you have a... Do you... That guy just skipped in to get it. He literally skipped in to get it. Yeah, well, he's got to get his buddy's green card. So he's just ran to the back. Could know. you bring it in a warmed up mug, too? <laughs> Room temperature, like to put two hands around it, not make sure the hands aren't too warm. Yeah, that's you're grabbing yeah, it too tight. There you go. Drop there the one go. pinky, perfect. I prefer it in a bottle. Wow, I got here really quick. That looks like the kind of a glass of water you give like when a, mu a magician does like, a, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, and then you, you pull a bird out of it or whatever or something. Nobody wants to drink that, right? That looks awful. Yeah. That looks awful. You're, that you're, looks horrible. You're if I were you, I would wait until your bottled water becomes room temperature. It's better than drinking that. Who would bring that out? I'm, I'm an entertainer, you ass fuck. Why would you bring that to me? Not your nephew at a Christmas party, you jackass. 
This is why I haven't been here for two fucking years. You understand? <laughs> Mr. Pardo wants a bottle of room. <laughs> see? You want to bring both guests out at the same time? Look what would have happened. Yeah, see? <laughs> it would have lost his shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enjoy that delicious glass of water, Shooter. Let's bring out our uh, next let's guest. Let's bring out our next guest. Um, Good to a be little here. more even-tempered? <laughs> <laughs> it's a character. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, her character is a little more even-tempered. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, well, that's what I meant. By the way, yeah, it's a character, I mean. and what happened when I got here? A song from Rent was playing, and I went fucking nuts yeah. in the green room. Oh, my God. He lost his shit over... Yeah, yeah. Every year I go see goddamn Rent. Every year I fuck his house. Every year I watch it, it's horrible, and then I run and I cry in my car. Um, let's bring out her first excuse. What's weird is you kept complaining it was a rip-off of Starlight Express. Did you answer me, yes. <laughs> that's the great Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> His worst show. Nope. Cats. Cats is worse. Speaking of Andrew Lloyd Webber, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> Jackie Cation. Jackie Cation. <laughs> you guys have an extension cord? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got an extension right. cord right here. Perfect. It's going to be a lot more Perfect. romantic. I'm going to make this super romantic. Union 90. <laughs> Union 90. I'm full of romance. Plug. Hi, guys. Hello, Jackie. Hey. How's, it, how's it treating you? How's it going? Hello, Portland. Hi. All right. I read your tweets. Read your tweets. Brett Chambers tried to kill somebody on a unicycle today. Next time, he'll do it right. <laughs> Jackie, I think you should explain your wonderful Star Wars shirt that you're wearing. I'm wearing a wonderful Star Wars shirt, and it's the saddest thing that I can't tell you the name of the people that I got it from. Uh, Seattle. Seattle. Very close to here. It's a lot like Portland, but tidier. Oh, I always say it's a little, just a little well swept. And, uh. What? I don't know. It's a, it's a dirty, is... it's a bigger, dirtier Portland. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Oh. It's horrible. Well, I don't know. Horrible seems a little extreme, Shooter. <laughs> really? You want to hear Nirvana again? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's no. You're right, you guys. You're no Kirkland. Anyway, you've really chosen wisely. It's not that, whatever. No. Jackie, can I, if I just made, this may be the best water I've ever had in my entire life. See? Life. See? Room temperature. You know what? It's the nice. plastic has been ruining the water for the last 20 years. You want it out of a glass, Chris. You always want your water yeah, out of a yeah. glass. This guy knows what he's doing. Hand blown. Hand blown, that, that glass. So. That glass is hand blown by somebody who's a taxidermist in this town. All right, let's... Uh, yeah. I'm wearing a, it's a, it's an Empire Strikes Back, they're in love. The two ATVs are in love, they're making a cord they're around there. ATVs. It's nice. It's real nice. And I'd like to recommend that people read Rachel Rising, Terry Moore. Anyone reading that? Silence. Nope. Nope. There we go. How about Except that? Except that one dude with the earbud shirt, he's reading the shit out of that thing. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of great comics now. That's all I'm saying, right, Chris? Yeah, let's talk are. about it for That's an true. hour. Uh -huh. let's, let's put these two to sleep. So let's. Um, <laughs> one of the things we wanted to do before getting into the actual uh, new trailers and the movies coming out is just kind of talk about uh, some of our favorite movies that we've seen this year so far. Uh, Jackie, now other than Guardians of the Galaxy, what else have you seen? I've only seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, fair How enough. How many times that's have not, you seen it? True. How I many seen, times have you seen it? Yeah. I saw it the, for the third time yesterday. What? And here's the thing. I liked it the first time a lot. I didn't like it as much the second time, but this time I liked it again. So I how did it, it come back. back on the third one? Why would I go again? Why, why, did it, no. why did it, you know, from viewing one to two it dipped and then two to three it came back up again? Well, I had a problem with Gamora. I had a problem with Peter Quill. Because in the comics, you guys, Peter Quill, not quite the tool bag that, uh, that Parks and Rec dude is. But uh, that guy has a name. And uh, it's maybe Chris Pratt? Pratt. 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 No, I think whatever. Parks and Rec dude is fine. I think that's a good <laughs> Parks and Rec dude. Anyway, but he's he's a bit of a he's a bit more of a womanizer and a bit more of a hey, bow, chicka, bow, bow, than uh, than he he's not that in the in the comics. But uh, so, but I like Gamora better in this third seeing of it. Uh, I do have to say that at the end of the movie, when he says to Ronan, who also plays. Head elf in the Hobbit movie. Nothing. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> These are all union electricians, Jackie. They're not big film fans here tonight. Yeah. They're not going to understand anything we're talking nerds. about. What part of the nerd part did you people? All right, so well, here's the scoop. Is, uh, at the end of it, uh, uh, 
Parks and Rec guy, Peter Quill, says he calls uh, he calls um, Ronan a bitch, and I wish you would have called him a cunt. Oh, I do. I wish you. I, because the thing is, is, I always know what people mean when they call somebody a bitch. I never know what the fuck they're talking about with cunt. I'm like, oh, that's probably negative. But I don't. Uh, Just because, like in Australia, they're like, "Oh, you're a funny cunt, mate," like right. that. Yeah, more funny cunt than uh, than than yeah, bitch. It's always some sort of mean spirited. Uh, kind of a mean-spirited lady. And you're just like, oh, I, I guess all the women in your life are mean-spirited and ladies. <laughs> a cunt, on the other hand, is the, the vehicle from which life uh, uh, comes. Did somebody Did dare you, you to say cunt six times? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Did you need me to say the N-word now? No, it's, I'm good. We're good. That's the bet I made. <laughs> And still nowhere near as many times as Aisha Tyler said it <laughs> at, uh, at our PodFest At PodFest, Aisha Tyler <laughs> slapped my knee and said cunt button 45 times. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking back the night, you guys. We're taking back the night. <laughs> Vote yes on 90, guys. All right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wait, you know what? I Let's open see. it up, Grant. I saw Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I'd recommend it. Uh, no, Chef. That's the mo other movie you really like, sir. Movie that I that I didn't mind it. I, I thought it was. I thought John Leguizamo was great. Yeah, <laughs> I like Chef a lot. I thought that was a cool little film, and yeah. and I like what it said, and it was all, it was interesting. Shooter, what was your favorite movie that you? I'm glad that you asked that. I um, <laughs> I saw uh, Chef as well, and uh, my wife and I we we I, we I talked about this on my award winning podcast, Never Not Funny, as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Interesting. Never not funny. That's what it's called. <laughs> so, uh, we, uh, John Leguizamo is one of these guys that I hated him. I hated that special he did on like HBO or Showtime like 30 years ago. Mambo Mouth. Is that the first one? His very first special he ever did? Is that did? where he played a homeless woman? Yes, that yeah, one. That it's it, fucking yeah. unbearably unwatchable, horrible uh, comedy for theater people because they don't go to a comedy club. So, like, he's a genius. So, I hated him. Yet, every time I go to the movie, I go, well, you know I hate John Leguizamo, but he was great in this. I've said that for 25 years. So apparently, I like Gen uh, John Leguizamo. Yeah. So if John Leguizamo was in Rent, would you just lose your fucking shit? Would your head explode? I would, I would be angry at it and then cry and sob over it, yes. And then go see it again. And then afterwards, secretly go, you know what, Leguizamo is pretty good. You know, he's pretty damn good in that thing. <laughs> You know what? You know I hate him, but he's great. So I, 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 I liked him and Chef. I thought, you know, the pro did you see Chef? I haven't seen Chef It's yet. about a chef. And um, <laughs> it's right in the it's, name. It's I'm you, guessing Hunger it's, Games it's is the got, same. It's You've Got Mail meets uh, Twitter. It's, with, it's You've Got Mail, Twitter, right? And then Food Network, uh, Food Truck. Uh, so it's got a lot. There's a lot of advert. There's a lot of product placement opportunities, what I'm saying. Uh, but on the whole, it's a very sweet story about a guy and his son. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a good story about a guy. This yeah, that's the one I saw. <laughs> Glad you guys were able to figure out how I liked it. <laughs> well, I got to go with Jackie on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It was fantastic this year. Uh, I think my favorite Marvel movies are Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Captain America 2. Oh, uh, Winter favorites. Soldier. Just Winter saw it Soldier, again. Yeah. Just saw it again. Uh, Didn't and then, see it in the theater, though. So, Well, the other one that was fantastic, that very limited release, was Boyhood. Have you guys seen that movie oh, yet? Oh, I did that want to see is, that. That movie is... Unbelievably amazing. It's uh, just the fact that he Linkletter shot the movie over ten years to actually watch these kids grow up. Because it's a scripted movie, right? It's a scripted movie. But so he shot the actors at different points of their life. Yes. Okay. And I found out the uh, sister, and it was actually his daughter. And uh, I think Vanessa, one of the people uh, or one of her fans, tweeted and said he cast his daughter because he know he knew where to find her for the next ten years. <laughs> so it was like, all right, this will make it casting a little easier. But what I found fascinating about this film is over the course of 10 years, it's a small, intimate family drama told on this giant, grand scale of spanning over like 10 years. It's an amazing film. So check it out uh, when you get a chance. Can we go back one second here? I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I didn't like Chef. No. We, kind of, oh, we kind of just glossed over that. I, I like John Le uh, Leguizamo in right. Chef. The movie itself, it, you know what? It, you know the fucking story the second it starts. He, oh, it's kidding. He don't get along. I bet you by the end of the road trip they do. That's spoiler the fucking, alert! That's the move. That's not a spoiler. It's the goddamn opening. That's the premise. It's a, it's it's horrible. Did you watch the whole movie? No, I looked about five minutes in, but <laughs> <laughs> but I got where it was going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just did. Why well, you, you jump so? I, 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 no. So to be clear, Jimmy Pardo loved Chef, no, ladies and gentlemen. No. No, Graham, that's what I heard. So this is why I'm voting yes on Union 90. 
so that everybody could have an but opinion. But now, to be fair, yes. after you were at the theater, yes. you saw the movie Chef. Yeah. You were driving home, I and sobbed. then you sobbed. Yes. And you were in tears, right? <laughs> yes. And you just didn't understand why. I didn't. I, uh, I, you know, I'll tell you this. What's the last movie you saw that you liked? Let me tell you this, okay, Jackie. I did not that. like Chef. Did I cry? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I, I loved that right. part. I loved. You see, I know, contradicting. <laughs> I. It's 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 a fine movie. Maybe you just <laughs> wait a minute, Shooter. This isn't a debate. This isn't fucking. This isn't so. Hey, I don't even know the name of the fucking show if, uh, that I'm on. Comedy yeah. film nerds, gun. That's the name of the. That's show. not what I heard. <laughs> I'm so rattled. I don't know if I'm at a political rally. I don't know what show I'm at. I don't know what's happening. If only before this show there were posters up all over the club ah, that had I our know. name I on it. Just, Why so... didn't that guy have it in front of him? <laughs> so I think the takeaway, Jimmy, yes? is that um, when, you you, hate when, crying. when you watch art or any type of art, whether yes? it's a play or a movie, mm-hmm. you just don't like to feel things. It makes you angry. No, that's not true. I cry. I enjoy it. I, I, I see the good in the world. <laughs> I thought Chef was okay. It was fine. I see the good in the world. Why did you bring this movie up? When we said, what was your favorite movie? I didn't. Yes, you motherfuckers, I didn't. Somebody said, did you see Chef? I went, yeah. Here's the thing. I had an anecdote about it. And then Chris jumped in. Here's my favorite. I didn't say it was my fucking favorite. I said I saw it, I sat through it. That's it. Like was almost okay in my book. That was my fucking point. Please make a meme. I gotta learn to say no to things. (laughs) This is a character, right? (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, go see Chef. It's fantastic. I can't say enough. The food, it makes you feel like you're eating it right there in the (laughs) seat. You see the way they put the seasoning on? You can taste the paprika right in your fucking mouth. Yes, on 90 and Pardo Love Chef, guys. That's what tonight is all about. Hey, did Rise of the Guardians come out this year? Or was that last year? I like that one. I haven't seen an adult film in a long time. That was the one with uh, Jack Frost. Did that come yeah. out this year? No, or that was the year before. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I like that one. I'm trying to get it back to the movies. I'm a helper. I'm a helper. Fuck. Gone Girl. I saw Gone Girl. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. That was fucking quick and easy. Why did I have to get 15 minutes of a goddamn Link Wazamo freak out? You know what? It would make Gone Girl better, a little John Link Wazamo. But coming in as this, like, transvestite Latina as, like, an investigator or something. Hey! You know, you want to pay for this, honey? Like, oh, shut up. Shut up, Johnny L. <laughs> shut up, Johnny L. So how about you, Graham, other than Chef and uh, Guardians? Um, oh, I hated those movies. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I would probably go Guardians too. I, I was that movie was amazing. I loved everything about it. I was just talking to my my nephew who's twelve, and he's like, I saw it a third time. He loved it. it was good. If he if he loves it, then I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> he signs off. I'm in. All right. So let's uh, let's go right to skip right to Nightcrawler. This actually came out this weekend. Has anybody uh, seen the Spy Applause? All right. <laughs> okay. Jesus. That's, I, that guy. Now this crowd, set, you guys uh, get really fucking weird. Do you know you're at a movie podcast taping? <laughs> we ask you about a movie, and you guys look at us like, whoa, whoa, movies? We're here for the electrician's union. This is a rat. Sure. This was a pro chef Linguizamo rally, we thought. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I was very uh, sad that Nightcrawler was not about Bam. Of course, X Men. It wasn't about X Men. Yeah. Uh, I actually saw this movie last night. Uh, I did, and I, it's getting like pretty good reviews. And I will say, um, Jake Gyllenhaal is amazing in it. What? He plays this awesome, like, kind of sociopathic guy who follows crime scenes to record them uh, and sell them to local news. And uh, <laughs> but what I, what I love about what he did with this character is that uh, he he's sincerely like polite. Like he he really wants to be polite to everyone, even though when he's out of his fucking mind. It's a it's a great character piece, but. The rest of the movie around him, not as good. Really? Yeah, Aww. it's not as good. It's uh, it's 30 minutes way too long. And also, it doesn't get where it needs to go very quickly. Like, I just told you what, you know, mm-hmm. what happened. Okay, 
That takes about an hour and 45 minutes, Ooh. what I just told you. What so did then, that guy think of it? And then it, uh, it kind of it kinda <laughs> doesn't really <laughs> wrap up satisfactorily either. But uh, I, I thought for his performance alone, it was amazing, but the movie itself isn't. Cause so, he, so he's believable as like a sociopath, because I don't think he's oh, ever absolutely. played anybody like this. He's always plays kind of the good guy or the like right. golly gee whiz. Person. You saw it too? No, I'm just the trailer that I've seen. No, he's, so, he's, he's, he's great in it. Is it a superhero movie, Nightcrawler? Yeah. I'll see yes. it then. I like this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's show our, our show our first trailer. Let's do it. Um, so the first trailer we're going to show you guys is the upcoming little indie film from Christopher it's Nolan right called Interstellar. House lights. It's called house lights. Yeah. We used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. Go for our main engine. Start T minus 10. We must confront the reality that nothing in our solar system can help us. Nine. I've got kids, Professor. How long? What have you gone? Eight. I'm asking you to trust me. Seven. Murph. You have to talk to me, Murph. Six. I need to fix this before I go. I have no idea when you're coming back. Five. Main engine start. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? <laughs> no. Four. You become a parent. Three. One thing becomes really clear. Two. And I said you want to make sure your children feel safe. One. fired up for that yeah, movie. Is that the guy from the Lincoln commercial? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the Lincoln guy. What a fucking jump from commercials to this, I huh? I know. He's doing okay, that guy. You got talent. I guess it pays off, huh, Jackie? Uh, this is guy. one of those Planet of the Apes movies, right? They land on that yeah. thing and then... You got apes. them dirty apes. Yeah. Yeah. Get your paws off me. <laughs> <laughs> the Southern Hillbilly... Get your paws off Get me, your boy! <laughs> <laughs> your monkey hands! <laughs> Last thing I need is your monkey hands touching me. What we have here is a failure to communicate <laughs> in an ape island. Well, we got hell monkey hands upon my body. <laughs> and I'm asking you kindly, sir, remove them. Did anyone, did anyone think that it was going to be Batman in space? I thought it was going to be Batman in space when the credits came up. What, what I love about the... the fucking bit! <laughs> <laughs> that bit was done. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Huh. Go to black? Huh. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what I love about scene. watching that trailer, too, is it's like you're watching it and you go, you know what, this is a movie I want Michael Caine to be in. Uh, it's, it's... Well, I watched a little, like, behind-the-scenes thing, and Christopher yeah. Nolan built... All these like practical spaceships, and he goes, "We didn't use any green screen. It's like almost like rear projection or some crazy shit." But they're in the and they they put the the spaceships like on these gyroscopes, and it just looks amazing to me. I'm so fired up for this. Yeah, I'm bummed, and I'll tell you why. 
Uh, Regan Burns, our mutual friend Regan Burns, posted on Facebook today his review. And, and I, so now I'm going into it having somebody else's thought in oh. my head, and so I'm kind of bummed out about it. Yeah. It sounds like he didn't like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so somebody said, and it sounds great. I, I, but he, 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 he hated it. So, like, it's one of those things, like, uh, I, don't with, tell a, me. with a film like this, me personally, I will, I will watch maybe one or two trailers, and then I don't watch anything else. I don't like reading reviews. I That's don't want to know best. anything about it. Well, I didn't know it was a review either. You know what I mean? It was on Facebook, or it's like, hey, I'll save you the time. Uh, you know, don't go see this. It sucks. <laughs> wow. And it's like, I'm just that reading somebody's, you know, the, the feed on the, on Facebook. And so I, I'm bummed. That's can any, can <laughs> anyone make me like Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> really? You don't like him at all? No. Yeah. Um, Not a chance. Yeah, watch. That dude uh, is an empty vessel. Watch. <laughs> and granted, no. you can pour a script into him and it'll come out all good, but I could give a shit. Are you saying you didn't like him in Reign of Fire? I didn't see Reign of Fire. Well, he plays a crazy dragon hunter. You'll like it. What about right. Sahara? Why are we avoiding Sahara? Sir- <laughs> I, I you bring up a good point, th- Jimmy. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. You're a filmmaker. You did a yeah, yeah. southern hick voice when he was a lawyer at some point, and I was like, where are you from, Jersey? And uh, I never did fall for the... I'm, I'm not I think he's from the- Texas. Is he? Yeah. But is he from urban Texas or is he I from think he real might Texas? Be. I think he might be from like a right, from real. He went to UT. Yeah, yeah he's a UT guy. Yeah, I hook him horns. Bury him in the sand, head first, and put honey on his feet. So you did see Sahara? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. Here's the thing. I don't know him. I'm sure he's very nice. I'm sure he gives uh, no, I think he's puppies a dick, and children, but, but we don't know. Right, you guys like him? I like Matt. I love Matt I, McConaughey. I, I, I haven't been able to watch anything with him in it. I just He's I can't good. stand him. Really? Did you see? Da- so you didn't see Dallas Buyers Club just yeah, because you were yeah. done with? Him? Nope. Oh, I didn't. Jackie. That was just a giant boob job, wasn't it? I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't see that one. What part of I've never? I've never. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Anything. Dallas Buyers Club was a boob job. I'm. I'm missing the. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's movies. I look at them. I'm like, oh, that's a pile of haircuts. Uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time going to see. I'm like, oh, look at sunglasses. Excellent. I just have a hard time. I don't know how to pick. I'm not the greatest with the picking of the film. I love film. I love it. No, I'm, I'm clearly, I'm not, but I'm not That's a pile of haircuts. Wait a minute. So you saw Guardians of the Galaxy three times, yep. and you didn't see... Dallas Buyers Club one time. I haven't seen Boogie Nights. There's an even bigger no, that shame one's over. That's an overrated in my ancestry. Shit. But oh, really? uh, I, I think it's overrated. Do I think it's good? Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll probably cry during it. <laughs> but I think it's overrated, too. But I think you've got to give Matthew McConaughey a, uh, more of a shot. He's, right. he's a lot better than you give him I credit for. I read six Terry Gilliam, not uh, Terry Pratchett books. So I could at least watch one more fucking Matthew McConaughey book. Okay. I, I, I don't understand Movie. that at all. Those are words. Those are all words. That's all it was. It was a sentence of some yeah, sort. Yeah, it's, it's comparable. So I'm Pile of haircuts. That's just Schindler's List. A lot of gray clothes, I guess. That's all that is. Now, pile of know, bones, huh, Graham? The same day, inter- yeah. Let me the tell same you about day, Twelve Years a Slave. Out. I never saw Twelve Years a Slave either, because you know what happens in it? Bet you some guy's a slave for twelve years. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, you should see that movie too. I could see that. Movie. I would have taken away two of those Guardians of the Galaxies and have you seen uh, Dallas Buyers Club and Twelve Years a Slave. Even if I would have cried, cried like a baby. Yes, I cried. I enjoyed these movies. No. Those are when both you great took movies. the movies away, I would have cried. Oh. That like a baby. Really? All right, like moving this. forward. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look, even... Graham's trying to move the show forward. <laughs> 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 Boom. I'm concerned about the one scene in this trailer where the guy, there's a, a rocket of some sort taking off, and uh, yet they still have the ball game going on. Wouldn't you shut the ball game down? Hey, hey guys, yeah. across the street, there's a rocket taking off. Yeah. It's just the rockets no, that's going to no, save no. planet oh, Earth. Shut a fucking no, ball! No. <laughs> the band played while the Titanic sank. You know what? You're right about yeah. that. Wait, you guys know this, right? Uh, in, in like trailers, the, was that linear? Do you think, or do, do they pulling different things from different parts? Oh, the uh, there's no way that's linear. That trailer. okay? That did, yes, it looked like Memento, up. which I also yeah. uh, mm-hmm. have only seen part of. Oh, oh, that's just a bunch of fuck. That's a stack of photos. That's all. That's <laughs> <what I'm doing>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so pile of haircuts. Really <laughs> Trademarks. Trademarks. So, pile of haircuts. My, uh, you know the, the same day Interstellar is coming out, Big Hero Six also comes yeah. out, which is I'll be so, seeing so, that. So, so it pretty much Di- Disney pretty much said, you know what? If you're someone who loves films and you have children, you're going twice to the movie theater yeah. that weekend. 
Yeah, I talked about last week's episode because I got to see a screening of Big Hero 6. You did see it? I, I loved did? it, yeah. I, I really liked it. And Will my That's seven-year-old exciting. son love it? I think he will. I think will it's, I? Yes, gun. I think he will. I think he will. I, I saw it. Oh, that's um, cool. You know, I saw it was a screening at well, Disney. Well, it's based on rent. Then I'm going to love it. <laughs> I love it's it. It's got a good heart. 565. <laughs> nine, 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 Big Hero 6. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, yeah, I think Big Zero, it's, it's, it's one of those movies, I think, I don't have kids, but I think it's, it's the movie that, that parents and kids are both like. And T.J. Miller does a good job. And it's, it's, is it's, it fun for people of all ages? Yes, Shooter, it is. <laughs> Like, it's just, I guess, Jack, so what's that? Just a bag of birthdays? Is that what that movie is? <laughs> my, uh, my son, who is seven, uh, we saw the movie Nut Job, uh, which is a horrible uh, film. Horrible film. Yeah. And when you're, so, I think he was six at the time, he turned to me and he goes, Dad, this is horrible. And uh, so now, whenever a movie's bad, he does, he actually pulls a, what I'm going to call a cation from here on out. He'll go, and that looks like a nut job. <laughs> That's so, your son's rating yeah, system? that's his rating system. That's awesome. That's Looks like a nut job, huh, Dad? Accurate on so many <laughs> different on levels. Accurate right? It yeah. actually is. Yeah, perfect. And he's yeah. spot on, although yeah. he loved Dallas Buyers Club, Jackie. <laughs> Note to self. I'm going to like that big hero movie, though. That's going to work out for me. I think it's good. Yeah. I bet, uh, you, I bet you that ends well. Also is the uh, the theory of everything. Now this is the movie about uh, Stephen, Stephen Hawking. Hawking and his wife. And oh. I don't know if you guys have seen this trailer. This looks uh, this looks really good. It looks amazing. Yeah. The the kid who plays him is and, Charlie Cox in this, Graham. Yeah, Chuck Cox is in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Is that somebody? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's in it. He's Charlie in it. Cox is in it, but yeah. I doubt anyone calls him Chuck. <laughs> <That'll avoid> Chuck. <laughs> they do now. Yeah. What's up, Chuck? Nice What's up, work. Chuck? <laughs> Hashtag Chuck Cox. Hashtag Chuck Cox. Charlie Cox. Do I know who that is? Do I know Charlie Cox? No. I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, he's great. <laughs> yeah, he oh, good. he's great. Every one of those guys with a boot job, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The, the theory of everything just looks like a fucking satchel full of numbers. You know what I mean? That's what that <laughs> Right. I can't leave that joke alone. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's a corridor of suitcases. I don't fucking know. I'm just saying that that is a... I did a show once, and it was for a pile... I, I, I saw a pile of haircuts once, and that's what made me think I can tell what a pile of haircuts is going to look like. And it's just going to be a bunch of programmers that are all gross. So yeah, so hashtag leave it, guys. Corridor of suitcases <laughs> yeah. for the Stephen Hawking yeah. story. Corridor of suitcases. So that, that guy that guy was getting some action. That, that, the smartest guy in the world, right? Stephen Hawking. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, he was getting some side side nookie. Well, that's what it's about, is early your fucking pussy hunting years back at the age. <laughs> Hawking was just fucking tagging them three at a time in the goddamn math lab. And then all of a sudden, now nah, I'm starting to twitch. Oh, keep sucking it. And then... <laughs> And who gives a shit after that point, right? And I think he did something after that other than wax on You all have a night app. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Mancini, spot on, spot on with... <laughs> hey, Eddie Redmayne's in this, huh? <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> he was good in Les yeah. Mis. He oh, was great yeah, in Les yeah, Mis. Yeah, he good was stuff. in Friday Night Lights he was in, too. I've never seen that. No, it's <laughs> no that's true. That's like everybody tells me i got to see that, and I've never seen that it. That was really good. I saw that. <laughs> you saw Friday Night Lights? I did. I never saw the TV show. <laughs> Understand it's excellent. Anyway. So. Wait, it's a movie? Uh, Friday Night Lights is a movie. And then it became a television and program? Became, I saw the film. I'm, at, I'm literally at dinner with my parents. That's just what this is like. <laughs> this is like listening to an older couple. Are you still doing Well, we played stand-up? football on Saturday when yeah. I was younger. <laughs> oh, no, it's a TV show, Mom. She went to high school with him. <laughs> anyway. What, what time is it on? What channel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, we use that thing now, the DVR. Yeah. So we don't know when anything's on or where. What channel is your podcast on? Can we watch that? Uh, all things comedy. I don't have an iPod. Uh, no one does. Dork Forest. <laughs> Get out there. You can you can listen to me make mistakes all day long on the Dork all right, Forest. We, let's go to this. Let's go to that. Uh, go to the next trailer. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, yeah? look, we're going to do the next trailer. This uh, may or may not win an Academy Award. We'll all see. Right. Oh. I can't wait to hear Jackie's review of this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey again. There he is again. Almost 
two decades of skunk hunts. How you doing, buddy? Brought you your favorite candies. Come on, Lloyd, you gotta get over her. Mary Samsonite was just a girl. That's it, kid. Come on, come on, come on. Spit it out. God, yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute. So you mean you have been faking for 20 years? Mm -hmm. And it was all for a gag? Yep. That's awesome! <laughs> oh, pull. Why don't you roll me inside? We'll get the nurse to take the catheter out of me. We don't need nurses for that. But don't you have to... <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. Who's this? Oh, that's Butthole. I found him out in the alley. Why'd you name Butthole? Because of this. Good name. Totally fits. It's a postcard from Freda Felcher. Harry, I'm pregnant. Please call me. What do you think it means, Harry? Roy, I'm going to be a dad. Ah! Look at the postmark. 1991. I had a daughter. I gave her up for adoption. What if we go track her down? You're hot for my daughter. What? Am I right? What? Am I right? I like her a lot. I know she'll appreciate all the trouble you've gone to to find her. Let's call her. It's ringing. Whatever this is, we're in the middle of something very important here. This is your dad. What? Hey, guys, I know this is weird timing, but I got to take this. It's my dead dad. She's got me on hold. Mikey? Yeah, Grant? I've got the diamonds. Mikey's listening. They're underneath me. Did you hide them inside this turkey? They're just above the giblets. There's no diamonds in here. And you're not my grandson. Harry, she's got me. She's really clamping down. <laughs> you can cross that one off your bucket list. <laughs> Disfruta de una óptima visión con los nuevos lentes graduados. Oh, I forgot. I'm not sure. Y admira esta maravillosa colección de diseños europeos que te van a encantar. I said, well, I'm sorry. Increíble precio. I think this is our intern fucking up on recording the trailer. Is that a Ricky Martin La Vida Loca? Oh, so the Superflex is $7.99, guys. So go to Padre Mir 483 OTE. And pick up some uh, Ricky Martin's little brother optics. Yeah, surfing that. I'll fucking surf the shit out of the Yeah. All right. What are those crazy ladies doing? All right. <laughs> Kids with big glasses. She's going to suck it. Vampires like them too, guys. And it. Don't know why that was on there, but. <laughs> That was just good writing. I thought the second half looked great. <laughs> I disagree with you guys. I thought it started very slowly, and then it picked up once those hot chicks showed up in the shades. <laughs> hey, four eyes. That's what I say to that. <laughs> just a pile of lenses, huh, Jackie? <laughs> I actually slapped my knee, for those of you who are at home. That was a knee slapper. So what did you guys think of that? Are you excited for that trailer? No. You know, I, I saw the first one, Quad Cities. I, uh, <laughs> Saturday afternoon, went with a guy named Louis something. You've heard his last name. Good guy. We enjoyed each other's company. And uh, I laughed like crazy. Yet this looks, uh, all the silliness looks funny, but I think the story looks stupid. Your thoughts? <laughs> I, my, my guess on this, just from watching the trailer, there's going to be some funny scenes in there that are going to yep. be hilarious, and there's going to be some scenes that I'm going to just go, right. why are you... Finger banging your grandmother. Right. Like, there's you're, no. You're, you're 50. Yeah. It's like watching any episode of Family Guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you that go. was funny. That was lazy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, that's a great comparison. <laughs> I mean, this is early. It's. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Like when he when he sprays the banaca and it goes the wrong way, I, yeah. I laugh at that. And then yet when he's got his hand in the uh, yeah. the old lady's bag, I call him bags. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's that movie? Just a bunch of bags? Is that what that is? A big handful of bags? <laughs> I laughed at the at the at the dust 
uh, coming out of her va- vagina uh, against my will, against my very <laughs> fucking will. Yeah. So good work, Farley Brothers. Farley Although Brothers. the audience should do it. They, they, you guys, they, they what did enough. you guys think? They got a charge out of it, right? You guys dash off to this? No, she shakes her head. Mixed in a way that, re- yeah. yeah. Sick and Mixed react. Do you think it was made for us, or do we think it was all made for a 14-and-a-half-year-old gentleman? I think it was made for us because we, we yeah, were around for the years first later. one. Yeah, 20 years later. Right, right, and we have a love affair with Jim Carrey we refuse to let go of. So it's like we – Oh, he's back! Right. You know, in a weird way, it made me want to see another Bill and Ted movie, though. What? I what? actually want to see I want to see another Bill and Ted movie. I'd rather see that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think Bill and yeah, Ted. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. I'd see it. Let's do that. I never saw it. this. How many were there? For three? Warmth. Two. Just two? Yeah. Because winter's coming. Now, Jackie, I have a question. Would you watch that movie or Guardians again? Guardians. All right. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> well, maybe That's... we should just kind of go to the next trailers. Well, we should. We, we, we do need to talk about Hunger Games. Um, All right, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part One. I'm excited to see um, it. Yeah, these uh, after Three they got books, after they got movies? through the first movie, the second movie was much better. I think this one will be good too. Uh, they're breaking up the third book into two parts. The thing I like about it too is uh, this is not a spoiler, but. Uh, there's no more games. Like, how many times can you actually do that? Now it's all about the rebellion and fighting the rebellion. So it's, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, like, well, how are they going to get into the games a third time? But it's, it doesn't. They're not, they're not in it. So it's actually, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Pardo like, just like getting, okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, Jimmy's like, you know, that's what I was thinking when I saw the first two. <laughs> I didn't say, I, again, I, I did <laughs> I haven't seen either of them. They might be the greatest movies in the world. They just, they, 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 well, they're missing me. Yeah. Uh, other things are coming ships out of that Ships in the time. night. Is that what you're telling That's me? That's a great Jimmy example Barton? there. Like yeah. two ships, the great Barry Manilow. Are you guys excited to see Hunger Games, the next one? They love it. Yeah. yeah. Six people in Portland have spoken. Did you read them? Yeah, see, I read them. I didn't see the first one. I was so mad at the third book. Uh, and granted, it's a teen book, so... Uh, it's, it's what, like, now, without giving a spoiler, what part gave you guys? No you way to do that. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> we'll talk after the show. Right. Here's, I mean, the thing is, is I heard catch, the, the second one was excellent. And I do, I like. Um, Teens the, in Peril. Teens in. I, yeah, who doesn't love <laughs> Teens in Peril? Yeah. Rising to the occasion of superpowers? That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Right? They're just like, oh, she's. Yeah, she hunts, but there's no reason that she is like the Terminator, Jesus. And she goes into that thing and she has superpowers. But isn't it just like a forest full of knives? <laughs> <laughs> just like, Sorry, just, I'm just waiting on doing more of those. <laughs> all I'm doing. It's, it's a. Pun- <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh, I don't know. They're, sorry, I'm um, sorry. It's a. Off topic, are those new glasses, Jackie? Are they new? Yeah. Uh, about a year old. About they look a year great. Old. They're I real think nice. They look very nice on you. I took them off briefly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful glasses, guys. <laughs> Courtesy of optics, guys. So next time, <laughs> next time you're down in Buenos Aires, guys, pick up some optics. <laughs> You guys ever make it to Eagle Rock? Go to the Society of the Spectacle. <laughs> no, how dare you? It's named after. I a... go out of the country for all my eyewear. Because <laughs> you're living La Vida Loca, guys. Uh, bang! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's watch the next trailer. Uh, this this movie, are you, I, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one too. And then I, I do want to. When we're watching it, I want to repeat something that one of the waitresses said when we were doing the sound check. <laughs> it's, uh because uh, I didn't. I didn't agree with her until I saw it again, and then I can see what she's talking about. Okay. Jackie, please take your seat. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Pepper. Uh-huh. I'm a gentleman. Oh, no, I don't. This war, we're not winning it. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. It's a typewriter. It's beautiful. It's the greatest encryption device in history, and the Germans use it for all communications. Everyone thinks Enigma is unbreakable. Let me try, and we'll know for sure. Mr. Turing, do you know how many died because of it? I don't. Three. While we've been having this conversation. Gentlemen, meet Mr. Turing. We you to work together, then? I'm afraid these men would only slow me down. Popular at school, way. Eh? We're short on staff. We get more staff, then. She was saying you that Benedict Cumberbatch's face makes her uncomfortable. It's no, it takes me eight. And I didn't really get it watching Sherlock, but this one I do. You said to do it in under six. Oh, Jesus. What is yeah. it that we're really doing? We're going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. 
You know, to pull off this irascible genius routine, one actually has to be a genius. I'm designing a machine that will allow us to break every message, every day, instantly. You're going to need all the help you can get, and they are not going to help you if they do not like you. Have you decrypted a single German message? You will never understand the importance of what I am creating here. Our patience has expired. No! If you fire Helen, well then you'll have to fire me. Me too. And me. You better bloody work. Helen, you do not have to do this alone. What are you doing? What, what's going on? The Navy thinks that one of us is a Soviet spy. You've got more secrets than the best of them. What if I don't fancy her in that way? Can't tell anyone else. It's illegal. I'm just a mathematician. Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine. <laughs> so you're into that. That looks exciting. Yeah, that one's I'm in. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. In. Nazis. Nazis. And I like my Nazis buffoonish. <laughs> Nazis... You should see Hogan's heroes. You'll love the hell out of that. <laughs> Those guys don't know what's up. There's one guy in particular that has no idea what's going on. Enigma. Which one is this? Yeah, you know, the, 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 these, these POWs, they get over on him every fucking episode. <laughs> this guy sees nothing. He hears nothing. <laughs> You're going to love it, Jackie. It's right. It sounds like exactly like what you're asking How do you pronounce for. it again? How does it? it? Hogan's Heroes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, heroes, plural. Yeah, there's more oh, than just the one. Okay. Oh, uh, Hogan is like... You, I don't want to tell you. Don't spoil just, it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a spoiler alert uh, episode for Hogan's Heroes. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. No, no, no. Oh, boy. These guys, they try to escape. Sometimes they do something. Burke Holter shows up. Oh, Thank oh, you, oh. idiot. Oh. For those of you listening at home, Jimmy just uh, mimed taking his monocle off and then back in again. It was pure theatrical gold. I like how you explained that to the at-home listener while you made the most eye contact you've made the entire show. <laughs> that was great. You went, you went for those not listening, hey, let me. Literally, a spotlight hit you. The, the room dimmed <laughs> right on the face. For those at home, gagoosh. <laughs> and then I break into a song. Um, from Rent. From <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've All got... All that movie is missing is John Leguizamo. Right? <laughs> I thought right. I'd try... Nothing? Nothing. You're, right. <laughs> You're correct. That was not the right time for a callback. Make no okay. mistake, I will see that movie. It's either going to be phenomenal or absolutely horrible. Your thoughts? I think it's going to be great. You do? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see it. I, I, I'm cautious about that film because uh, it, it, I like all those actors... But there's little things in there where I go, oh, is this going to just fall into World War II movie cliche? That's my fear with that Please, film. I hope it does. Oh, you... That's what I'm looking for. I need a nice war movie based... Whenever I see based on a true story, though, I always go, no. No, it's not. Probably not. Well, yeah, there was... I'm sure the Nazis Something... had fucking code and yes. somebody broke it. I'm yes. sure that happened. The Navajo. No. <laughs> but it wasn't, but it wasn't <laughs> Sherlock. Different. <laughs> yeah. Right. And and Benedict Cumberbatch is is great. He is very uh he's he's he he plays a good uh, so, uh yeah, Benny Cumber's great. We like Benny yeah, Cumber. Yeah. <laughs> is he in that Osage County? Is he in that uh, that Osage County? Is that the name of that movie? August Osage County. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Is he in that? He was in Rent. I had not seen that production. Yeah, yeah. I will now look for it because I've never heard him do a British accent before. He's phenomenal. <laughs> Is that called, what, what is that movie called? The one that we just saw the trailer of. The Imitation Game. The imitation Thank you. Game. Mm -hmm. Thank you All right. much. I'll see, I'll see uh, you also, back. now coming out uh, November 26th, Horrible Bosses 2. And oh, you guys lining up for that? Going to go to the Midnight Zoo? Oh, shit. Yes. And you wait a minute. You didn't like the first one? No. And Jackie, the yeah. counter-programming that might interest you a little bit more, Penguins of Madagascar. No, I don't, I don't enjoy any of the Madagascar movies. Very sad. Very sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, that's that's a, fine. A woman's that's jaw just fine. fell to the ground, and now right, she's having I, a heart attack. There, there was a window. There was. I missed a window. There was a window when I had needed to get in on the ground floor of the Madagascar movies, and uh, and I missed that window. So uh, I have never enjoyed it. We're learning a lot about you. You've been on our show probably a half a dozen times, mm -hmm. and to, and I to this day I had no idea you hated Matt McConaughey. 
Now you hate Madagascar, so you hate no. animals. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Kill them all. No, I, I, no I, uh, I actually, I don't mind an animal movie. I Homeward Bound. Well, so this right? movie's, yeah. Who the, that's your, that's the top of <laughs> Flipper? Come on. Flipper? Yeah. Who, uh, you guys, we, we can go, we, Black Beauty? You guys, well, any, does anyone want anything yeah. from this century? Well, uh, Flipper, I mean, that was just a bucket of fish. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Boom! Yeah. That is the movie poster. Just a bucket of fish and then, and then Flipper's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's wacky. I like it. So, right. so now we have <laughs> December 12th. We have Inherent Vice and Exodus, Gods and Kings. Well, no, back to back? Okay, well, Inherent Vice. Hold yeah. on, let's say this. Wait, Inherent what? Vice looks awesome. The people will clap. That movie looks uh, really cool. It's Paul Thomas Anderson's film. So uh, Reese Witherspoon, right. Jenna yeah. Malone. Yeah, Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix, Phoenix playing Josh a weirdo, Roland. as all he should ever do is play weirdos. It, it, Who? <laughs> it, it reminds me a little bit of like an L.A. Confidential. Yeah, yeah. Thing, like a, from the great. 70s. Yeah. I saw that. It looks good. Like uh, Zodiac, like Zodiac. Exodus, Gods and Kings, uh, you know, yeah. Ridley Scott. Weird. Looks awful. Ridley Scott. Looks horrible. Yeah. In time for Easter? Looks What's awful. happening? Awful. Yeah, it's... No. I like yeah. Chris Bale. I think he's a good kid. Yeah. Looks horrible. Yeah. Joel Edgerton's in it too, and Ben Kingsley. Yeah. Do you guys feel anti Semitic? All this all this anti talk about Exodus? <laughs> yeah, Jackie, that's yeah, what no. we're all about. Yeah. That's where we were Where's going. Where's that coming yeah. from? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I like, what are you, like a Fox Am News I reporter? A little too real for you guys? Just a pile of Jews. That's all you're thinking. <laughs> just looking at people going, oh, just. JackieCation.com, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Dork <While> Forest. <laughs> You should listen to the Moshe Kasher episode where he dorks out about Judaism. It's an excellent yeah. episode. All right. Well, let's – we're going to watch this next trailer, and it's literally just – And you have to be quiet. Dorks. Yeah, I'll be quiet. It's just for Chris and Jackie. Yes, please. Take a guess. Uh, it rhymes with Bobbit. Wait, is it where that guy gets – Audible his... moan. Can't we just say we watched it? <laughs> Jimmy, please take your seats. <laughs> The most fictitious thing is that those companies still exist. Remember everything that happened. The good, the bad. Those who survived, and those that did not. Home is behind <laughs> the world. Keep it together, Graham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn away, Graham. There are many paths to tread. <laughs> Through shadow, to the edge of night, until the stars are all alight. Oh no! We'll spend shadow. Why was he surprised? Does anyone talk in this fucking thing? Or? Just you have peace. Shall I will have more. Will you follow me? <laughs> One last time. I was so excited for that. Oh. Come on. You got to love Arthur Dent. It's come on. so great. I cannot wait for this movie. Pardo will refuses to come back to the stage after that. <laughs> He's sitting it out. I'm going to recuse myself from talking about that. <laughs> I thought that trailer was ending nine different times. <laughs> Who the fuck watches that? He's so fucking... Guilty and these weirdos. And charged. Yeah. Did you? Did they see the room like opening like a night. wedding, like oh, Hobbit side night. and against? Jimmy, it's no chef. I it, get that. I didn't yeah. like chef. <laughs> 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 if 
if John Leguizamo was in that movie, oh, I, I, yeah. I'm if first he, was, if he played it. an elf. Oh, I'm yeah. the first guy to see it. He's tiny. He's in. He takes into a role. He really commits. They're like, you must go far in the battle. Oh no, I won't, Poppy. That's right, Bob. Oh no, you didn't. If you two guys, he's so original. <laughs> Imagine something that happened 35 years ago. All right, now we gotta. Okay, we gotta move this along. Okay, you want to go to let's, the next trailer? Yeah, let's oh. go to the next trailer. All right, this next trailer. Oh, oh God, folks. Oh, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. Now, we always try to find. Jimmy. This one's for Jimmy. This one's for Jimmy. We try yeah, yeah, to find one, one that's kind of exciting. Again, Jimmy, I'm gonna need you in your seat, please. Thank you so much, Shooter. <laughs> I'm glad we're not talking about that Annie remake. I, I think oh. it looks great. Yeah, we skipped the Annie remake. I think Annie looks great. I'm on record. You're alone. <laughs> I am not alone. Matt Belknap agrees. My son agrees. Oh, I wonder what this is going to be. This is probably going to be exciting. Oh. Mystical forest, huh? Oh, it's... I wish. Oh, that doesn't look fake at all. No, oh, The Hobbit looked very real, Chris. <laughs> oh, wait. So it's... Oh, I thought it was Red Riding Hood. Now it's the Beanstalk? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Well, that's not a selling point. Now she's got a hemp rope? I don't... I wish. What I'd really like to do now is see some famous actors overact. You wish to have the curse reversed? There we go. Oh, great. Do that turn again. Who's that idiot? Now, glance up. Glance up. <laughs> now, what? now, what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you dressed that way? Older. No! No, Johnny Depp's in this. Oh. Christmas? All right, you got a lot of fucking balls taking Christmas yeah. Day with that release. A lot of times the so, Oscar movies are released then. So basically, if you have children and you hate them, take them as to this on Christmas. I, listen, I like musicals. I like movies. Do you like Sunday? That's you like why you'll hate this movie. I, I watched this, and when I saw the trailer for the first time, I was like looking at all the stars, like, uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, there's the guy taking over for Ferguson. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then Johnny Depp came on and went, nope. Oh, it's. Remember we loved him? Remember there was a time we used oh, yeah. to love Johnny yeah. Depp? Uh -huh. what? Remember, remember uh, Donnie Brasco? Remember right. that? Sure. Gilbert Grape. There was all these amazing movies, and now. I'm just like, stop it. Oh, God, and yeah. they show his hand, and you know he's going to be in some stupid costume. He's on the like, front of Entertainment Weekly, and I, oh, I no, burned my episode. Uh, he's issue. literally a Tex Avery cartoon. He wanted to dress like the uh, Big Bad Wolf from You're the right. Tex Avery cartoon. Yes, he did. He, and uh, right? and uh, Colleen Atwood, and wait, if somebody says this, somebody's handler needs to stop this. The uh, Colleen Atwood, the... Uh, the wardrobe uh, person, Colleen Atwood, said, you know what? We just had all the actors pick their own costumes. Well, they shouldn't. That is a horrible oh. idea. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to let Johnny Depp write his own script. Yeah, that's oh, great. great. Did oh, you guys, I don't know if you guys ever saw those pirate movies. He was doing an impression of Keith Richards. Did you know that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait. For the home listener, Jimmy Pardo right, just right, right, right. Um, strangled himself. Graham, take your seat, please. <laughs> As an electrician, what chord would you have used? I would have used, uh, you know, high quality. <laughs> I love you just bail mid-riff. You're just like, ah, oh, fuck this joke. <laughs> the weirdest, okay, now to, to the point of the, the costume people getting to pick, the actors getting to pick their own costumes, the costume people, professionals, obviously should be involved. Did you guys ever, and I don't mean to go away from Into the Woods, uh, which I liked when I saw the bootleg shaky camera from, uh, from, from, uh, Broadway. Anyway, uh, but the, uh, uh, did you ever see The Counselor? R Cormac McCarthy? Oh, you yeah, saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's him just fucking jerking yeah, off. Yes. For an hour, and literally, literally jerking off. And then I think Cameron Diaz, like, suction cups with her person, with the middle of her body, uh, onto a, <laughs> onto a windshield. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I saw that in a drive-in. So in other it words, was... Cormac... Did you really? Yeah, yeah. It's awful. So How Cormac did you get in a time McCarthy... machine and do that? <laughs> <laughs> Cormac... I drove out to the Inland Empire. That's what I did. Which that is... was a horrible no, movie, though. It's it was awful. I mean, it's so worse. fucking... Lo- Boy, did it love itself. But get, it? oh. get this. Cormac McCarthy wrote that script in prose. Like, he half wrote it in, in, uh, in final draft and half in word. And then he's like, yeah, here it is. And because he had done No Country for Old Men. and But they yeah. had gotten a professional scriptwriter to take his book right. and turn it into a movie. They were like, oh, of course. Well, maybe they skipped that step. They did skip that I think that they did. Step. He's not a good worst. screenwriter. He's a great author. And uh, right. I have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck am I? He's not a great screenwriter. He's a good author. That's Shut a good up. Point. Not even a good point. Windbag. See, That's a I good do point. Live into the woods, though. You guys don't like the story into the woods, or I mean, no, so I, think I don't think no, it's for children. This, it's this adaptation looks okay. awful. It looks bad. It's, uh, yeah, it looks you know, it's a lot of celebrities overacting and uh, a lot of overblown CG work. Yeah, yeah it looks stupid. Um, but, you know, I heard I, I haven't seen but the, the stage play. It could is be. great. It's a musical. Yeah, it's what great. If, what if it's good though? Could be. There's always that chance oh, with any movie. Sure. Well, I might go see it. Is what I'm saying. There's I think there's. Pos- I think there's, there's zero that chance. Possibility. There's zero chance that's yeah. going to be good. What? Zero. You're chance. putting well, it zero. Up, comedy film nerds is going to need a review of it. So maybe I'll go. Go see yes, it. Jackie. Perfect. You yeah. go see the shit. By out the of way, that. Jackie Cation wrote the chapter on musicals in the Comedy Film Nerds Guide to Movies. Yes, I did. So yes, I did. there is no bigger expert on musical movies. Than Can I no. ask you a question then on topic? Opinion. Yes. Then what's your favorite uh, mo- uh, movie musical then? Right. Jackie? See, that's not okay. That's not. I don't want to. I don't want to that. What? I, I like. There's there's different genres, right? I mean, one of my favorite, of course, Victor Victoria, but it's not. Not a classic, right? It's not like it South, have to South be. Pacific. If it's your favorite. I enjoy South Pacific a great week deal because of the message, the B plot per se, about racism. It isn't okay. Anyway, so uh, turn, <laughs> FYI, guys, alert. racism not okay. Fonzie, Vote yes. Uh, <laughs> Fonzie said it best. Racism is for nerds. Anyway, um, hey. well, hey. except for we're nerds. You just Wait called it. You just called it. us I racists. Take, yeah, but that was the 70s. They meant different things. <laughs> That's then. the 70s. Remember That's when you could say retard, and it was hilarious. That was exactly, great. Exactly, cunt. Things are, <laughs> you gotta, they're just a pile of leather jackets, those people. <laughs> the people of the 70s. Oh, sit on it. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember what Joni wrote? She said Potsy was the opposite of a nerd. He was a dren, D R E N. Hey, guess who watched some television as a child? <laughs> this one. <laughs> that was a great show. That was a great show. All right. Well, let's. There's a couple. We got. We got to. Yeah. We got to talk about Welcome Back, Cotter now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, there's. We there just is, lost Marshall Wallace. Okay. Yeah. There is a cool. A couple. We're gonna watch one more trailer and then earbuds. But there was a, is a movie that we don't have a trailer for that if for American Sniper. This movie looks awesome. The trailer for it is Bradley Cooper. Um, he's in the sniper position, like in Iraq, and there's like you know target. He's on the radio, like I think we have a target. Think of a problem, and it's like a woman with a child, and they probably have a bomb, and there's a convoy coming, and then he just flashes on like his wife and his child, and it's it looks it looks amazing. Is he it's wearing based the on a true story too? This is actually it tells a story of uh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's wearing, wearing the raccoon outfit from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yes, Jackie. Everything is all about he's that. He's in green screen. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So he's Clint Eastwood no, directs it's, it. Does it look amazing? It looks amazing. Clint Eastwood directs it. That is also coming out on Christmas Day. So, boy, guys, you got some choices. You got Into yeah. the Woods. Yeah. Right. Or or at least dates with American some of these movies. That said, Clint Eastwood's last directorial uh, production was uh, Jersey Boys. And that's a thumb that I can't put farther down to this fucking earth of ours. <laughs> Boy, was that, that was a pile of shit. I don't mean to steal one of your uh, slogans, Jackie. <laughs> I believe it'd be pile of shits. It would, You'd, have yeah, you're right, you're right. You'd have to go plural on that. It was horrible. And I love the stage play. You know that, Chris. Sure. Uh, yeah. But the boy, the movie was uh, horrible. How do you spell that? Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Dirty uh, Harry. You feel right. lucky, Jackie? Mm. You might have Is that how he did it? You feel lucky, Jackie. You feel lucky. Did I shoot five or did I shoot it was, six? It was Jersey Boys. Do you feel lucky, Jackie? <laughs> Jackie, do you feel lucky? I'm asking you today. <laughs> Is the day you feel lucky? I'll put a gun in your mouth. Oh, what? 
Made me uncomfortable. What Dirty Harry yeah. movie was this? That was just Jersey Boys. Dirty. Just oh. got dirty. That was Jersey Boys. Okay, dirty, no, Dirty Harry. That's a very serious movie. This is Jersey Boys. <laughs> it's a fun, uplifting thing about the four seasons that Clint Eastwood make, uh, managed to make the saddest, most depressing fucking film I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen documentaries. <laughs> Taking a stand. Taking a stand. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's. All right. Our final uh, movie trailer, except for earbuds. All right. Let's. Yeah, let's show. Uh, okay. This movie actually awesome. looks really cool. This is another yeah, actual yeah. based on a true story. This one here? Man. Yeah. And directed by <laughs> this one coming up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I just fell off my chair. Okay. <laughs> there you go. If I want to fucking drink water, I'm going to fucking drink it. <laughs> This is what it's come to, huh? You are the only living soul I can tell my secret to. I painted every single one of them. Every big eye. Me. And no one will ever know but you. You made it! You're in North Beach! Come on, let's have some espresso. What's that? Is that like Reaper? Uh, you have a lot to learn. What's your name? Margaret, wouldn't you rather flirt with those girls down there? No, I like you, Margaret. Wow, this is all happening mighty quick. I am a divorcee with a child. Walter is a blessing. Mm. You're gonna love this stuff. Why are their eyes so big? The eyes are the windows of the soul. That's why I paint them so big. I've always done it that way. Why are you lying? Sadly, people don't buy lady art. The painting says keen. I'm keen. You're keen. Smile. We're sold out. They adore you big eyes. He sells paintings, and he sells pictures of the paintings, and he sells postcards of pictures of the paintings. Good God. It's a movement. So, are you flipping for all this? Honestly, I can't believe I live here. I remember when Mama painted that. You're confused. I painted that. What is troubling you? I lied to my child. I'm just not that kind of person. Is your husband that kind of person? These paintings are a part of my being. Maybe I could sign it myself. That sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? Keen means me. You want to give back the money? If you tell anyone this empire collapses... You're that surprised. It's like a mirage. From a distance, you look like a painter. But up close, there's just not much there. That's an outrageous statement! Mom! She's on the end. You don't even know what the truth is! So, who is the artist? I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah, I think that really looks. To... I think this is right in uh, Tim Burton's wheelhouse too. Like this is really. I'm surprised he's making a movie. Look, I mean that's an actual movie. I know. That's yeah, why yeah. I think actually because uh, th this is why I'm excited because it's not some. It's not a remake. It's not a remake. It's not a yeah. remake. It's not a cartoon. It's yeah. not. Right. It's an actual film yeah. with, with a real story. I think I'm ex really excited to see him do this. You know, you it's not about prosthetics or crazy outfits or which he's right. done amazing stuff with. Yeah. I'm just saying, like no I, bottom Carter. <laughs> no Johnny Depp. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? How is he going to do it, Graham? Now, is We're going to see gun. Yeah. <laughs> is it just me, or when you watch Terrence Stamp in this movie, you're like, is he the same character as in The Limey? <laughs> I Stop hope. Stopping the fork with his hand. <laughs> I hope. He should just be that guy all the time, yeah. just yeah. kicking people's ass. <laughs> Who do you think he is? Like, if you meet him, he's going to oh, be yeah. that way? Yeah, exactly. Terry Stamp? Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> T-Bone? T-Bone Stamp? <laughs> T stamp. T stamp. Yeah. T stamp. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if that was his license plate. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And he had like a ring or like a, a gold diamond that said T yeah. stamp. <laughs> and then he had like a bitch's tattoo on his neck. That's okay, true. I'm going to keep going until you guys fucking guys get on board with T stamp 2.0. Cunt. <laughs> Not bitch. Cunt. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's English, so it should say cunt on his, right, because right, yeah. that's what they call everybody. Um, all right, well, uh, that's sort of the, what's coming up, you yeah, guys, before you guys the end of the year. that's what you guys have to look that's, forward to for the end of the year. Yeah, is that... Mm -hmm.
I think it's going to be, I'm excited. The Oscar movies, uh, you know, every year it's... The other thing we're noticing, too, with the releases is that there's still some empty spots, so there's going to be a couple more that they'll drop in before the end of the year. There's a couple qualify. weekends in December where yeah. there's nothing that has been announced yet. So well, I don't know. this is on Christmas, too. Yeah. Another Christmas yeah, sure movie, Graham. That's a busy day. Boom. Mm -hmm. Just skip into the woods, friend. You'll be fine on Christmas. That's the only one I'm seeing. Big wide. What? What? <laughs> I was going to say big eyes, I was going to say big woods, and then all went big wide. Went big, big wide. wide. Yeah. Big wide. Why? I don't know. I, I Hashtag just... big wide. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Big wide work it. Let me... <laughs> all right, so let me ask, first, Jackie, of the, of all the movies coming out before, uh, you know, before the end of all these houses, some of the ones we talked about tonight, which ones are, which one uh, or ones are you most excited about? Hobbit. Uh, no. I liked, oh. uh, I liked the, the one... Nazi one? Yeah. Imitation yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. All right. Jimmy, shooter? Thanks, Jimmy. Big uh, gun? Anything to help. I, um, <laughs> you know what? I don't know, baby. I don't know. <laughs> you got you it, baby. Know. How about the six? The six? Ma maybe that big eyes. That's, a, that's based on that Cheap Trick song. Um, big, I'm going to go big eyes. I don't know anything about art, but I know what I like. Hey. And I don't like big eyes. Did you just say A, Jimmy, like Fonzie? I, just, I think we I, can all agree, though, Interstellar will be on there. Everyone wants horrible to see Interstellar. Boss is Regan Burns says it looks bad. Uh, you know what? I'm Honest to God, I'm looking Annie. forward to Annie. I really am looking forward to Annie. All I don't right. like Jamie Foxx. I don't like blacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing that. I mean, that's a... <laughs> what happened? Did I misunderstand? I completely misunderstood this rally. <laughs> That's not what 90s about? <laughs> Holy shit! Do I was brought here in her false pretenses, friend. Do I say pile of sneakers? I, yes, no, okay. say that. I actually, I, I think it, it's probably Annie now I or Nightcrawler, is that what which happened? is out. Annie or Nightcrawler. Are you comfortable with those two answers? Yeah. Sure. You sure you don't like Shep? yourself, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> and that imitation game. I look forward to that, okay. too. Yeah. Mancini, what do you I, got? I got to go Hobbit and uh, Big Eyes and Imitation Game. I'm going to just, I'm going to circle everything. I'm just all about Interstellar. That's, I just, yeah. that's all I want to see. Right. I want to see it, too, but I'm very, this Regan Burns thing has me rattled. <laughs> rattled, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, they could have just shoved Woody Harrelson in that same fucking role. Leave There's no way. Alone. Leave McConaughey alone. He's you... good. He's good. He's. Oh. You gotta see Dallas Buyers Club. All right. Do I? And Rain of Fire. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just, 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 it was even good in Time Somebody to told Kill. Me about Attack the Titans. I had to see that. I saw the first eleven episodes of that. I saw it. I did it. It was nice. Yeah. Was all right. Yeah, that's the most uh, perfect comparison I was ever made. Well, here's here's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. You're telling me I need to see this. Okay. I'm gonna go. You're see gonna it. do it. I'll do it. Okay. All right. If all it's right. Streaming. <laughs> Sorry. Only if it's streaming. I, w I want you to see every Matthew McConaughey movie. No. You gotta no, see. Have no. you seen the Lincoln Lawyer? Lincoln that's Lawyer's the one I didn't like. That's the one that made me go. Ugh. What about Killer Joe? Did you see Killer Joe? No. That's good too. Mud. 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 Lincoln Lawyer's good. No. Which, what else you got? Time to kill. <laughs> Days to Confused. Days to Wall Street's a yeah. decent film. Failure to Street. Launch. What was the one that he was just in? Where <laughs> Failure to Launch. Holy shit. Yeah, go Sahara. see that. Yeah, that'll Sahara. that'll turn the corner for you. <laughs> what was the movie he was doing where he was beating his chest? I mean, the, the, the most recent one. Where he, that was Wolf of Wall Street. That was Wolf of yeah, Wall Street. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's young, what this young man just told me. Does Wolf. anyone have a good Dabney Coleman film I can see? All right, let's watch. Let's watch. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our last trailer. This is. Does uh, this look good, Grim? This this one does look good. Yes. This is earbuds that we shot a bunch, and you guys, many of you, helped out. So here it is. Check it out. said that, you know, we'll go to the ends of the earth to meet the podcast fans and look around. We did. This is the end of the earth. 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 This is the end of the ear
Oh, you okay? We were making a documentary about crazy people who talked into microphones for free and pretended they had their own radio shows. It was a time of mass delusion. You see, these people were doing something that they ordinarily would have aspired to get paid to do. The, the podcast fan is a very tech-savvy person sure. right now because it's still... It's 80% of the population doesn't even know what it is. Podcast? Podcast. So when you go to see... It's a long MP3. Yes, yes. yes. that's what it's it so is. Funny. It's changed the dialogue between fans and comedians. I don't do... You can't do stand-up anymore. You have to be honest. It's insane. It's really changed the dialogue, and you can't talk shit about anyone anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, podcasts are this kind of like audio representation of the internet, which is that whatever you're into, there's probably somebody talking about it right now. So if you like regurgitating food into other people's mouths, like a bird, and then having, I'm sure that there's a podcast it's called Bird Feed. Yeah, it's called Bird Feed, or, or or like you know, like like furry mastication. I think every comedian or everybody, especially comedians, because we perform, but you hope the vehicle that brings you to the public matches who you are. And there's no doubt that the audience that comes out to see you because of your podcast, they're perfect. We realized pretty quickly, like, oh, this is a thing. This is something that's, something's happening. And it wasn't some other company or some other thing we were chasing. It's just like, let's just do something that we enjoy doing. Just from plugging this microphone into a laptop, we have friends all over the world. Would a guy that works at the U.S. Capitol, a gymnastics coach, a drill instructor, a Japanese housewife, and an Australian miner in the outback, what in the hell could they possibly have in common? And it's podcasting. So there it is, you guys. That is Earbuds. Uh, it'll be out probably late spring, early summer. Summerish, yeah. Uh, I heard Christmas. <laughs> Christmas Day. Christmas Day, yeah. Yep. Toe to toe with Into the, into the woods. woods. Yeah. yeah. We're going to fucking take that bitch down. That's we, what we're going to do. We're really excited. It's, um, it's starting to be edited right now. Um, Tina Imahara is our editor, and she edited the documentary Fuel, if you uh -huh. guys have seen that. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're really excited about this movie. And again, if you guys have helped out, we really appreciate it. And uh, we want to thank you guys again. We're, we're really, it's really excited about been a, it. Been a, it was an awesome experience shooting it. And uh, we interviewed Jimmy and Jackie and a, a million other yay people. Yay, podcast fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it, yeah. Was, it was... Fucking yay. The fact that, you know, you guys made, <laughs> made fun of that thing is the, is the coolest thing in the world. You know, I don't think we could have gotten money traditionally <laughs> for that <laughs> for that movie. So, and there's a fly on the stage. Um, you know it would be great, Graham, if we brought Earbuds t-shirts with us. What the fuck? I think I did. Oh, shit. So we've got some Earbud shirts. Uh, our Earbuds model is that gentleman back there. Yeah. He's a very gorgeous man. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. And then we have these, like we said, we have these posters out there. Uh, that we'll sign for you. These are free. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, vote yes on 90. There's stickers and all that stuff on there. Jimmy's union, guys. Jackie's got the sticker on her pants. Uh, Jackie's modeling pants. the sticker. Um, I like your Harry Otter t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a Harry Otter t-shirt. It's pretty cool. While you it's were like talking Otter about... Pops. I'm sorry. <laughs> While you were talking about this, this young lady had a little something on her shirt. But it looked from my angle like she was telling you to stop talking. It was like uh, she was cleaning. She's like, uh, uh, shut it down. Shut, shut the it fuck down. down. Enough. It. That's enough. Uh, That's enough about your fucking movie. Uh, it was purpose. Like I looked over. I was like, why is she? That's so fucking aggressive. She's like, uh, podcasting. We get it. Yeah. Uh. We listen. We don't need to watch it. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Uh, so, uh, Jackie, where can people find you on the internet, upcoming shows, your podcast, and the right. like? If, uh, if you go to dorkforest.com or thedorkforest.com, if you like a determiner, um, that's where my podcast is. JackieCation.com is, uh, is, is, and then I do stand up uh, everywhere. I've been uh, in Portland. This is the third time in two months. So I'll be back. Portland! I'll be back. That's it. I'm going to New York in January for a couple of, couple of weeks, so that'll be fun. Sweet. All right. Christmas Day, you're camping out for that into the woods midnight showing? <laughs> yes, yes. No, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, go to my website and look, because that's where my calendar is being kept. If you Google the name Jackie Cation, however the fuck you want to spell it, I'm going to come up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you spell with a Q. It's going to be me. That sounds like a threat. Like I'm. <laughs> it does a little. A little aggro. A little aggro. No need for the aggressive. I'm so sorry. I apologize. How about you, Jimmy Pardo? Jimmy Pardo, where can people find you on the internet? JimmyPardo.com, of course, my award-winning podcast, Never Not Funny. You can thank you. Now, that now free to all, right? Uh, it's free to everybody. I started it. Um, started a, a revolution. Um, but NeverNotFunny.com, we have. Uh, you can go there. Of course, I. Uh, what year did you start, Jim? 2006. Thank you. Me too. March. <laughs> Early on. What month? What month did you did you start it? January first. <laughs> you beat me by eight months. Eight months. Oh, how, then, how did you then, do it? Then for real, March. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Beat me by five. Yeah, five. I beat everybody. <laughs> Jimmyparto.com. Nevernotfunny.com. <laughs> Hey, this was great fun. I, in yeah. all seriousness, thank you for having me on. I sure, really, man. Uh, great to have you thank guys. You guys, you guys are great. <laughs> Good to be back at Parton. Good to be back. PDX. PDX. Um, yeah, and this episode, uh, for those of you here, we're going to try to release it as, uh, hopefully by tomorrow morning if we can, because we like it'll be this week's episode. So. Yeah, we've got to get the vote out. Get the vote yeah, out. Yeah, yes, vote on out. 90, yeah. you guys, if you haven't already. If you, oh! some, some of you vote on, <laughs> vote on mail. <laughs> vote by mail. The election, obviously, is Tuesday the 4th. So. A lot of you guys early voted, right? Some of you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can I, the quick? rest of you are going to vote, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Fucking vote. Do something. Excellent. Fantastic. 20 years ago tonight, this is a true story. 20 years ago tonight, you and I did a political fundraiser in Chicago uh, for uh, Johnny the Hawk Stroger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that? The guy's name was John H. Stroger. And I was, I had just had gone through a horrible breakup and I didn't want to do the gig alone. So I, I Oh yeah, I, this was in like a bar or It was something? at a bar. I called Graham and I said, I'll throw you some money. Just come and do this thing with me. It's going to suck, but let's bomb together. And I've never seen a guy bomb as badly as Grandma with that night. <laughs> and, and the only reason I didn't bomb was I wasn't him. <laughs> like, I was, I was bombing miserably. They hated me. Hey, Grim, they hated him so bad, but nobody laughed harder than me. Maybe it's one of my biggest laughs in my life. At the end of it, there's the, all these posters up for uh, John H. Stroger. And Graham goes, listen, uh, come on, let's, uh, don't forget Tuesday. We come out for Johnny the Hawk Stroger. <laughs> Good luck November 4, Johnny Hawk. And I was in the back with tears in my eyes laughing so hard. And then knowing I had to go on stage and suck it. Oh, God. So, that was so yes. bad. So how did the candidate do? I don't know how the hawk did. We got to go. Hawk I don't know anybody, anybody, anybody. So come on. Let's get together for Johnny the Hawk Stroger. Because it was, it, was, it was some like alderman. Like it was yes. some, it, was, it wasn't any high level. It was like assistant comptroller yes. or some shit like that. They, uh, they, they, I know they didn't want comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how did you even get that gig? I'm a big shot in this fucking business. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea how I got it. I just knew I wasn't doing it alone. So, yeah, I went up there and was basically the bullet sponge. Like, Graham, you got to go first and just make these people hate you so much. <laughs> 20 years ago tonight. That's so great. Well, guys, don't forget, yes on 90, and get Johnny the Hawk Stroger back <laughs> into the office, guys. Let's get the Hawk on there. Take huh? care of things. <laughs> Uh, well, we have, uh, coming up, we have a show for those of you listening, uh, in, who will be in the Los Angeles area, November 15th. We're doing a show at Inside Jokes, which is a comedy club inside the Sixplex, uh, in the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, which is awesome because we're going to be doing stand-up comedy and short films. We got some amazing short films that are going to be shown on a huge, uh, screen with stadium seats. It's a blast. It's, it's really good, too. All different genres. We've got comedies, animations. Uh, there's a thriller one mm -hmm. that's really good. So uh, that's uh, Saturday, November 15th at 10 p.m. Uh, I will be also be headlining in Honolulu, Hawaii, December 6th. So I'm sure Portland uh, gas up the van and drive on out to Honolulu. <laughs> and we've got Oklahoma City coming up. Oklahoma too. City. We're doing two shows on December 11th. We're doing a stand-up show, and we're doing a comedy film, Nerds Live, in Oklahoma City. So uh, check that out. We'll be showing some trailers there, too. Maybe we'll do a re repeat of Into the Woods. Nice. See what, yeah. See the director's Frame cut. by frame. Oh, Johnny Depp does all kind of crazy outtakes with his wacky voices. Yeah. It's yeah. His when, wig when, swapping. When you're not showing Johnny Depp in a trailer, there's a problem. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Literally just his hand around a, a dirty tree. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. I think he plays the giant, doesn't he? Pardon? He played the giant. God, I hope. 
right. I, I can't I wait. I think no, Johnny Depp plays the big bad wolf. Oh, the big bad wolf. Dressed in a zoot suit. So sorry. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, so get ready for Christmas, guys. Um, Into the woods this Christmas. Yeah, that movie is a present from Satan. (laughs) (laughs) Were you pressing off? Yeah. (laughs) Um... So I think that's it. Anything else? Yeah, guys, uh, for the, we appreciate uh, all you can thank everyone who came out tonight to Helio. Yeah, How about a big so round much. of applause? You guys are great, man. Sunday night. It's it was awesome. It's a last minute show. You know, we put it together in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. We really want to thank you guys for coming yeah. out for this. And, it was awesome. uh, thank you for, you know, riding your gluten free bicycles here in Portland. <laughs> Down a vegan bike lane. Swinging home on your hemp rope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure all of you drank Mike Robrews tonight. We appreciate that. And uh, let's thank, uh, you know, openprimaries.org, Yes on 90, for putting this show together. If you haven't voted, please do that. Uh, J.B. Updike. Uh, and how about thank our guests, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Cation and Jimmy Pardo. Jimmy Pardo. Thank you so much. Yeah, get the fuck out, Shooter. Get to fucking grab your cables and run. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. We love doing this. We haven't done a show up in Portland since Bridgetown a couple years ago, so we really appreciate you coming out. This was so great. Uh, anything else, my friend? That's it. My name is Graham Elwood. And I'm Chris Mancini. And as always, remember. Remember. First. Thank you guys so thank much. You.